For one, I'm not paying for everybody's food. You it's your broke, birthday, cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. You. Are you if you have an entitled young lady like this, you have to understand that not only does she not understand the concept of money or the concept of hard work and earning your money, but then all bothers you that another woman is good to her man and you think she's being too good to her man. I just want to know why. It's projection because for their loss. the woman that you're talking about it's projection for what they happens don't have. to be someone that a man is treating like a queen. He pays their mortgage. He makes sure nobody goes without anything they need. You know so many dudes that are like, I want a traditional marriage. My wife should be submissive to me. What is she submitting to? Poverty? These dudes have no house, no car, no savings, but expect their partners to do all the funny? cooking, the cleaning, the child rearing, because that's how it went in the 1950s. Okay. You know what else happened in the 1950s? Men were supporting entire families on one, one salary. salary. The most powerful realization a man can have is that women fear single men far more than we do women. Most single men are simple. They're single because they're not valuable enough. No one wants them, or they haven't worked hard enough on themselves to earn the respect of women. Simply put, single men are afraid of approaching women for fear of coming across as creepy and being rejected. What if I told you the game is completely different? Single men are actually feared by modern women. Not one as in singular, but women fear single men, and the more single men appear, the more they have reason to be concerned. We need to unpack basic women's biology and mental reasoning for understanding this. I've already discussed hypergamy on this channel and how women are always looking for the best man. Now let me discuss how women value their self-respect and perception. Once you understand that, a lot of things will fall into place and begin to make sense. Women are the symbol of beauty and attraction. This is widely accepted and is their main selling point. That is why women are used as a symbol for lust and love, because a woman's greatest arsenal is her appearance. That's what made her a desirable woman in the past, why the beauty industry exists, why jewelry is hundreds and thousands of years old, why makeup dates back to ancient Egypt, and why women base their value on their appearance. The more they can look like that, the better suitors they will attract. She will have a large pool from which to choose her desired man, and she will almost certainly choose the highest value among them. That means the largest factor of a woman's worth in society is the size of the pool she can attract. If no one asks her out and she is rejected, she will lose all self-worth. If you think rejection hurts you as a male, go see how badly women take rejection. Women absolutely lose it when they are rejected. They are simply not used to it. Women cry when they are rejected or when a date is canceled. She'll post videos of herself crying and tell her sob story to anyone who will listen. You'll even find some women like this on TikTok. You'll find them even more as they reach their late 20s and their pool of potential mate shrinks. Women, especially modern women, who are the most hypogamous women to ever exist. Fear single men who are happy with their lives, it kills them inside to see a man who's single and yet who's so happy and doing so well isn't asking for attention from women. It's a threat to their power of attraction, a threat to their value. It used men chasing them, seeking their attention, and proposing marriage because that's what society expects. Society says that in order to be truly happy, you must have a happy marriage and find the perfect girl. So women rely on that dream and go through hundreds of men like that in search of the real and perfect one. Single men are sort of like rebels in that system because they have defied what society has told them to do over the years. Many accomplished and intelligent men recognize that women are simply overrated. This is not just my opinion. Every stand-up comedian and wealthy man with easy access to women will tell you that they calculated the costs as a reward ratio and found it to be unfavorable. In fact, when you factor in modern issues such as harassment laws, divorce traps, and accusations, the risk to reward ratio drops even further. Many men who had negative experiences with women simply quit and began living their lives as bachelors, working out, starting businesses, and traveling to find a greater form of happiness, happiness that a woman could never provide. Men understand female nature and no longer want to play that game. They even got over their biological tendencies and stopped linking their happiness and self-worth to the women they contract instead. They started depending on their purpose in life, which is a killer blow to the woman who expects men like these to hit on her in the club, so she can get free drinks, luxurious dinners, dresses, and post all about it on her social media. It's a huge threat because she no longer has power over men. If these men inspired even more men, women would be chasing men, while men would be too focused on their goals to care. Keep in mind that women's attraction and beauty are limited, and the moment she hits the wall, she will exit the dating market. 
A man, on the other hand, has nothing to lose and by remaining single, his value will continue to rise. If she doesn't get a man early on, she's in big trouble. If the man shows no interest in her, she's left with no options. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.